riding roller coasters are meant to be safe, fun, and full of adrenaline. And if you do any of these 10 things, then a roller coaster ride can quickly become dangerous. The format of this video is laid out as follows. Things not to do before you actually ride, things not to do while you're riding, and one very important thing that you do not want to miss once you exit the attraction. Starting off with something that is pretty obvious, but it still needs to be said. Always listen and respect the ride operators. There is a reason why each operator goes through extensive training for each attraction that they're working on. They know these rides way more than you do, so be sure to listen to what they have to say and most importantly, respect them. As a former ride op of eight years, we are working to keep you safe. So please help us do our part by listening to us and be respectful. Don't try to ride if you do not meet the minimum height requirement. Working at Kings Island, Six Flags New England, Islands of Adventure, and SeaWorld, it's safe to say I have seen a lot, especially desperate people who try to make their kids tall enough to ride. Don't do it. It's not safe. And if you do not meet the minimum height requirement, then unfortunately you cannot ride. And trust me, there are worse things in life than that. Also, if you have any health restrictions, then be sure to not ride. Roller coasters and thrill rides put pressure on your body in a lot of different ways. And this could negatively impact your health if you still try to ride. And every attraction or roller coaster offers a safety sign that is located in front of the attraction. Do not ignore this sign. Seriously, it's very important to read it. And if there is anything on there that tells you that you should not ride, then don't. Again, it's not worth it. Now, let's get into the things not to do while riding a roller coaster. Seriously, life is precious, let's keep you safe. And to start, do not stand up. Well, this sounds like a joke, it really isn't. There are times that riders do try to stand up while riding a roller coaster. Now, this tends to happen more on roller coasters that offer a looser style of restraint, but still, it does happen. And besides, why would you want to stand up on a roller coaster to begin with? Hell, over the last 30 years, we've been able to ride actual stand-up coasters and look how popular they were. But in all seriousness, if you want to try to stand up on a roller coaster, then the best one to do that would be on SeaWorld Orlando's new pipeline, the Surf Coaster. And this attraction is set to debut in 2023 and features what looks to be the most comfortable trains that does in fact allow riders to safely stand up while they enjoy a roller coaster. While while I do admit that this top 10 is not one of my more fun ones, this is by far one of the most important videos about roller coasters that you're ever going to watch. So if you consider yourself a roller coaster enthusiast, then I really hope that you consider sharing this video on social media to help spread the word around. I don't ask for you to share my videos, but by you sharing this one could save a life, so I thank you in advance. Now, while you're riding the coaster, be sure to not mess with your seatbelts or the restraint. Because after all, they are designed to keep you safe and secured during your ride. It is extremely rare that a coaster restraint has a malfunction. Because most of the time when you hear about an accident that's based on the restraints, it's because the rider did something to affect the restraint system. So again, most of the time. So don't try to wiggle out of your restraint or unfasten your seatbelt while riding. Just do what you're told because trust me, you will enjoy the ride and experience so much much more. The next one is honestly one of the most common things that we are seeing in roller coaster incidents today. And that is, do not pull your cell phone out while you're riding. Seriously, if you do not secure your phone properly, then it could fly back and hit a rider behind you, or someone waiting in line or near the attraction. And trust me, getting hit with a cell phone when you're traveling at speeds of most roller coasters, you do not want to get hit. And that is not a joke. Because your cell phone that is in your hand while you're riding or not secured properly could extremely hurt, kill, or mess someone's face up permanently. So please, 
do not take your phone out while you're riding because if you do and you're caught and which you will be since roller coasters have cameras in places that you'd least expect you will get kicked out of the park for the day and most likely be banned from returning to the park that year while riding roller coasters is meant to be fun another thing to note is keep your hands and legs inside of the train at all times now obviously this rules kind of up in the air since if you're like me then you're going to ride a roller coaster with your hands up every single time but taking your hands and trying to hit the supports or trees along the course of the ride is not safe at all the next topic is something that i see happening more often than you'd actually think if you are crossing through the train to place a loose article on the unload side of the roller coaster station, or if you're not riding, or heck, even exiting the train, then please cross through the car where riders sit. Do not try to jump or cross through a train in between the rows of seats. Not only is this dangerous, it's insanely stupid. Certain roller coasters offer different train setups, but if you think you're doing something dangerous, then chances are you are. Once the train returns to the station, be sure to exit the train quickly and safely. And now, for one of the most important things on this entire list. And sadly, this is the main reason there are accidents and deaths on roller coasters. Whatever you do, stay out of restricted areas. Do not try to retrieve your loose articles. Seriously, don't do it. Every day, at pretty much every roller coaster at every park, a guest will lose something while riding, whether that is a wallet, keys, hat, cell phone, or something else. While I would have to agree it does suck because I've lost my keys on a roller coaster before, it's not worth you trying to climb a restricted area fence to go into the area where the roller coaster is and try to grab whatever it is that you lost while riding. Riding. Seriously, do not do it. If you think you can make it out safely, think again, because that roller coaster train travels throughout its layout faster than you might think. Because jumping into a ride restricted area is just not safe. Which leads us to this What do you do if you happen to lose something while on a roller coaster? Well, the answer is really simple. Be sure to tell one of the ride operators and they will instruct you on how they can retrieve your lost article. So there you go. That wraps up the 10 things not to do while riding a roller coaster. And if you can think of anything else that I did not mention, please share it with me in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.